Hardcore Mode Challenge, me versus Mr. Viticus, and last episode I finished getting building a portal, I just need to light it up. I built it in the crappiest way possible, but oh well. It works. Ah, okay. And... Voila! That is probably the crappiest portal I've ever seen. But that isn't what's important. So what I need to do now is... Smelt my resources. Or I don't really need to smelt them. I just need to take them with me and enough stuff to uh, build a... I need cobblestone. I wish I hadn't thrown away that cobblestone. That was foolish. I knew there was some foolish reason to not do that, but I did anyways. I'm not going to need any of these buckets because they're, they're pointless. Uh, let's get rid of that. Alright, I've got all I really need. We should go into the nether. And hopefully it doesn't spawn me somewhere where I'll die immediately. I'm hoping for like a cave or something, a nether cave, but my luck, I generally get spawned on like a small floating island or something. So this isn't bad at all. This is pretty good. If I just take care of this uh, ooh, lava flow here, I'll have a very safe... Jeez, don't do that. Don't glitch out, mouse. A very safe uh, nether base to store my resources. I don't think any uh, ghasts are going to spawn up here. So I am very fortunate. That is good. I was dreading being spawned in the nether on a floating island with five ghasts around me. I've had that happen in the world before. And it was just a horrible, painful process trying to... Well, I never ma made it. It was, just, it was literally like a six by three island with a uh, floating island with a... Uh, crap. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. Oh. So that's the source right there. hope it should quickly, relatively quickly, go away, I hope. And I'll have a very safe nether base. So, I'll go ahead and build a crafting bench. Or table, whatever. Go ahead and fill up this part. Eh, it's taking a while. So I'll build it over here. I'm not going to worry about zombie pigmen because they're not aggressive. And I have no intention of hitting one. So I should be okay. And let's build this to store my stuff. Right here, why not? I hear a ghast. So let's make a furnace and cook up my resources that I have already. Build a couple of furnaces. I only need, I guess, two right now, but it's okay. And where do I want to put that? I'll make a wall right here. And start cooking. Not 
sure how many blocks of iron I'll be able to get out of that. And that's all I really need from that, but I'll go ahead and see if I can find a nether fortress. And I will leave markers for myself so that I don't get lost like a certain somebody. Oh, whoa. This looks... Okay. This must be... This must be the, uh... same nether cave I used for the outro of these hardcore mode challenges. That's weird. Because what I did to make those, I just used the same seed and uh, just sort of built a portal and, you know, on creative mode and flew through it a bit to get some footage. So I just wanted some footage of the, the map that I'm using instead of a random one. Just to make it special for this round. So, yeah, I don't really need these mushrooms. I don't want them. I will, however, put torches facing the general direction of where my portal is. I think, uh, yeah, I'm thinking out in, in my head a system for keeping track of which of these little obelisks I'm building here will lead back to the portal and which ones just mark where I've already been. But... Yeah, for now, just two tall cobblestone will work. some slow sand. I don't need it, I don't think. What I'm looking for is a place where I can get blaze rods so I can make a potion stand. And make a stairway down. Oh, there's already kind of one down. It's okay. some torches here, just so I know where it is. Okay, lots of zombie pigmen, and luckily no ghasts. Uh, okay, well, so I wonder how long it's going to take me to find a nether Another fortress, I forget what they're called. Oh. Almost lost my sense of direction real quick there. And I could, I suppose, use this uh, nether rack, because it stays on fire when you when you burn it. But uh <coughs> as like, sort of like how I have my cactuses around my house and just sort of have a flaming wall around my house. Oh, this is a complicated area here. I think I'll go around, make a bridge. stairs, I guess. Oop. But I don't really... I don't need to defend my around my house. It's not that dangerous, especially when I sleep a lot. 
so I rarely have mobs spawning around my house. Put torch there. Because the most dangerous thing about the nether is uh, building sort of a... about like the easiest way to get lost in the nether, I mean, is uh, like having these stairways right here. You can easily walk past them and say, where's that stairway? How'd I get up there? Or, can from when you're walking by it, you can barely tell that there's a stairway going up through that solid wall there. So it's a good idea to put torches like this and that to signify that's where you came from. In addition to, you know, what I'm doing with these cobblestone obelisks or way markers. Ooh. And I don't really have well, I can repair this real quick. Yay. Got some glowstone. Don't know what I'm going to use it for, but... I've got glowstone. What I'm really looking for is a nether fort. Get some blaze rods. Not really sure how difficult blaze mobs are to fight. So that could be a dangerous situation. I may very well die. I hope I don't. And I don't really need any more. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna ro run low on cobble. It's a really dumb idea to throw away that cobble. I don't know why I did that. That's why I never throw anything away, except for maybe zombie flesh. So I end up needing it later. But I kind of figured I wouldn't, since I wasn't planning on building anything too large. Oh, I can't really see my cobble obelisk, so I'll build another one. And go this way, I guess. Did they make... Oh, hey! Look what I found! So let's, how do we get over there? It's going to be interesting. Should I build a bridge? I don't have enough of anything to build a bridge to that, so... I'm going to need to go down this way. I'll build a... Holy Jesus Christ! Can I... Oh, jeez. Damn, 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 damn. Can't you hit them back? Hopefully I get close enough, maybe, to hit him. I don't have anything to fight him with. Shit. Is he coming? If I get close to me. Maybe I can lure him into a... Fuck. Pillar of lava. Oh, there we go. Come on. I can't hit him back. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And a gas tier. I still don't know what those do. I should look that up. Oh, look at this. He ruined this terrain. Now it's kind of dangerous. Wait, stop that. Stop it. Stop flowing. Do not want lava. Come on. Lava is bad news. At least lava flowing like this is bad news for going back, but I better hurry up before another gas spawns, I guess. Man, it just wrecked this area. Anyways, what I was going to do was build a little marker like this and dig a stairway down, but for now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, check out Viticus's perspective. I'll leave a link to his video, whatever episode this is, 
they coincide, and thank you for watching.